Hey guys, Finnish Carpentry has been relying on pneumatic nailers since they were first introduced in 1950. Fast forward that to 1986, coincidentally the year after I graduated high school, when Passload introduced their first cordless framing nailer that utilized a gas fuel cell and a battery. In an effort to eliminate the fuel cell, Senko came out with the Fusion in 2010, which utilized a battery and a self-contained compressed air cylinder. More recently, in the last couple of years, many manufacturers have introduced battery-only cordless finish nailers. In an effort to provide you with an accurate snapshot of the cordless options available to finish carpenters, we gathered some of the top 15 and 16 gauge cordless finish nailers available out there on the market. We spent the day testing them head to head against each other in several categories. We hope that you're gonna find this information useful and use it in helping to determine the best cordless finish nailer for you and your crew. To sort through the selection of cordless finish nailers, we developed several simulations typical to what a task like a, a finished carpenter might use a finished nailer on. We used engineered lumber for the framing materials and that test and, and the reason for it was it provided the extra effort to nail into denser material, framing material. The simulations, there were three of them. The simulations were soft wood trim installation where we used pine trim over a piece of uh, half inch drywall into engineered lumber. And this test allowed us to evaluate penetration of the fasteners as well as depth of drive adjustments. We looked at hardwood trim where we used oak over a piece of half inch drywall into engineered lumber, same thing. And we did a toenail test where we installed cedar tongue and groove board onto engineered lumber and, and drywall by toenailing through the tongue and the trim. This test allowed us to evaluate penetration of fasteners, line of sight, depth of drive adjustments, etc. In addition to the simulations, each crew member spent time shooting fasteners into various materials to evaluate each nailer independently. And the simulations and individual evaluations were used to determine the best nailer in several categories from ergonomics to performance, power, value, and of course the coveted best in class. So, best ergonomics, we gave the award to Passload. Ergonomics play a major role in the evaluation of our test and not only does a tool need to perform well, but it needs to feel good in your hand and that's important to be comfortable. And ultimately that leads to more productivity and reduced risk of injury. The top two picks for our crew fell into gas powered categories which included the Passload and the Hitachi gas powered nailers. The Passload stood out uh, among all of the cordless finish nailers because it's extremely compact, lightweight, super comfortable grip and a great line of sight. It's been an icon in the industry for years and it's clear that Passload spent lots of time and considerable effort developing this nailer. And like we said, honorable mention goes to the Hitachi. Uh, 16 gauge straight nailer. This nail is powered by a gas cartridge and it's a very lightweight tool, small barred body, great grip, uh, one of the best line of sights of the tools we tested. As far as best performance, we gave it to the DeWalt. That's a DCN 6601. This category reflects overall impression for driving uh, fasteners into each of the, the setups that we did, the test setups, as well as the individual testings that we did. For us, performance was designed by, designed by the ability to consistently drive fasteners at a pace that you normally would when installing trim. And the DeWalt consistently did that at the depth we wanted and at the speed that we were very pleased with. It was easy to adjust depth of drive. Um, the fasteners went in easily with each shot. It was a really nice nailer to use. Honorable mention goes to the Senko Fusion. This nailer performed very well and was noticeably s slower than the DeWalt and uh, a little bit less power as well. As far as most powerful, we gave it to the Ryobi. In order to evaluate power, you know, carpenters face today, we're driving into LVLs and engineered lumber all the time. And, you know, we, we installed uh, through trim, through drywall, through oak, through, through all of the different things that we looked at, the Ryobi flawlessly, all of the finished nailers did a good job, especially in the pine, but the Ryobi consistently drove fasteners below the surface of the trim with everything, including the oak. And, you know, the fact that engineered framing lumber that we used, we felt it created a really good baseline to show that all of the cordless, cordless nailers 
are capable of, of, of installing into that. The big surprise came though when we used the oak hardwood trim. The overall winner, Ryobi, and it was the Ryobi 15 gauge angle finish nailer. The, the nailer clearly was more powerful than all of the other nailers we tested and it easily drove fasteners, fastener after fastener, and we used two and a half inch length by the way, into oak trim every single time. No other tool was able to match the performance of the Ryobi. And no doubt the Ryobi is the king of the hill with respect to power. Honorable mention in this category went to the DeWalt, the 16 gauge angled finish nailer. And not only did this nailer do a great job at sinking the fasteners and hardwood trim, but the tool is able to cycle very quickly, quicker than you'd normally install trim. There's really no lag time in fasteners. As you know, when you're looking at a gas nailer, you have a little bit of lag time. As far as best value, Hitachi. Purchasing decisions are always based on cost, and cordless nailers are no different. Not all of the finished nailers we tested came in kits, so we tried to price based on putting together kits. Hitachi had a huge advantage over the competition with initial cost of purchase, and both of their nails were around $220 to $250, cheaper than the Ryobi. If you consider, though, the gas cartridge purchase over the life of the tool, then that's a little bit of a game changer, and that's where things get a little more complicated and kind of confusing, because you're gonna spend more money in, in the long run on, on the gas. Best cordless finish nailer. These winners were decided by the entire group, and we based all of the testing and individual evaluations. The number one nail that we picked, best in class, was the DeWalt 20 volt. And the DeWalt, it's a DCN 660D1. It was uh, quickly singled out as the, as the leader, and it was well balanced, great grip, powerful, able to drive fasteners quicker than anything that we looked at. Um, one huge factor for the, queue, for the crew was that it runs on the 20 volt platform so you can use other tools. You don't need gas cartridges and you can plug and play. The ability to grab another battery out of your truck or tool bag or a trailer is huge and that went a long way with us. The only downside to this nailer was the light. It's completely useless and DeWalt really does need to rework that light. It doesn't illuminate your work surface at all. Number two, Best in class, Hitachi, the gas-powered 16-gauge straight nailer. The first impression of this tool was how light and slim it was. And after using this nail, the, the crew loved it. They quickly realized how well it performed and how, how well and how lightweight it was. Great line of sight. And it's, a, it's just a top pick for us. Very smooth depth of drive adjustments. Um, no more tip. Great line of sight. I probably just said that. And, and best of all, it's two pounds lighter than the DeWalt, weighing in at only 4.2 pounds. And it's most affordable in that group. The only downside to this nailer, gas cartridge. All of us think that gas cartridges can be a hassle at times and prefer options without them. Number three was the, the Ryobi angled finish nailer. And this tool is a total surprise to the crew because of its awesome power. None of the other nailers came close to this power. This nailer is a beast. In addition, it had a gr the best uh, LED light, and it was the most affordable in the group of winners. Combine that with the fact that Ryobi has a complete line of, of lithium-ion battery platform, and it's hard to beat this. The big downside to this nailer is its weight. It's an anvil. It weighs 8.7 pounds, and, and it's, way, it's, it's double the weight of the Hitachi, and over 2 pounds heavier than the DeWalt. However, if you're looking for a cordless nail that won't let you down on hard applications like oak trim, then this tool needs to be on your short list. Let's talk a little bit about the future of nailers. One big takeaway that our crew felt was how well battery only nailers did. In fact, all of us feel that battery only options are the way to go versus the, the gas options. They're also much quicker. And after reviewing these, our, our crew felt that the major advantages of cordless is the fact that if you buy something that's on your battery platform. DeWalt, Rigid, Ryobi, they all have battery platforms. You know, the fact that you don't have to have a separate battery and a separate charger is huge. While all of these nailers perform very well at finished carpentry tasks, it's clear to us that the battery powered cordless finish nailers on a larger battery platform are the way to go. I'm Rob Robillard and we'll see you guys at the next head-to-head -head test. Take care.